This is a video about creating a splash screen for an Android project in Eclipse. Splash screens are used uh, pretty commonly to uh, display an image or something while um, resources are loading in the background for a, another, uh, another page. Uh, in this application, we're going to add some images to the drawable HDPI folder. Copy those into there. And we're going to show one of those images on our splash screen, which I've incorrectly named Flash on here, but that's okay. I'll uh, we'll put some text on here. I'm not going to delete this text view. I'll just modify it. Um, there's a, quite a few properties for text you can play around with. Some of them you just type it directly in, and some of them you have to click on the ellipsis to get into change. Um, so we're, in order to get the splash screen to show for just a little while, we're going to be adding a timer. Uh, the timer will control how long um, and the splash screen shows, but timers can be used for a variety of purposes. We'll demonstrate how to add that. Uh, last thing in here is we're going to add a picture to the background of this text view. And we'll resize this image so that it takes up the full screen. Okay. Pretty good looking splash screen. Um, so we're going to add another uh, class eventually that this will uh, take us to, but for now let's add the timer. All right, the timer task um, is what enables us to make the timer. Now we've created an object called task from the timer task class, and now we're creating a object from the timer class called opening. It's an instance of timer. And that is going to take two arguments, the task and the time in milliseconds until the timer does its thing. And what this timer is going to do is open up another another activity. So we're going to add the, the class to our project and add it through the application manifest in the application tab. I'm going through this kind of quickly because it's something that you should already be familiar with. All right, so the void run is the code that's going to happen when the timer ticks. Kind of like a button event handler, except there's no user interaction. It's just the timer running. So when this uh, timer event runs, it's going to show our other, our other class. We've got the class for it, but actually we, we need to add the XML layout file. We'll call that main. And we don't really need to add anything to it. We're just going to demonstrate that the timer is in fact working. We'll do save all and run it. And there's a splash screen and without any interaction in five seconds, because we set 5,000 milliseconds, there comes our other screen.